Hey you birds, how you doing? Um, well, I'm just working on the, the green painting at the moment and I'm just adding um, highlights of reddish, orangey uh, just to the lines. Um, not, not in all of it, but just in sections to sort of help make it pop a little bit. Um, because there's slightly, as you can see, there's under undertones of red already um, underneath these particular areas but I thought to sort of pull your eye forward uh, into the front I thought I'd just add just little highlights so that's where I'm going with this baby okay so I'm working on this um, so I thought I'd answer a question that uh, I saw someone post and that was if I was still going home to Australia well yes I am I'm going home at the beginning of December um, and I'll be home for approximately about two and a half months because um, I haven't been home in two year, over two years now and it's about time that I went home and saw friends and family um, I'll be flying uh, straight into Melbourne um, and I'll be staying in Melbourne for the majority of the time that I'm there so if there's any of you guys that live in Melbourne that want to catch up um, drop me a line and um, let's meet up um, yeah so I arrive there at the beginning of December and then I have to race to Sydney uh, about the week after I arrive because uh, I'm going to meet up with Michael Demang and uh, Keith LeBleu who are assemblage artists uh, they're pretty well known um, as probably a lot of you know um, if you don't know them Google them um, they're like amazing artists and that's where I take my inspiration from when it comes to my assemblage work um, so you know they are awesome and I had the opportunity uh, actually through YouTube I met uh, Michael Demang and um, because uh, some of his students said that oh, this guy Gary Reef is talking about you and you know praising you and you know blah 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 so he contacted me and said you know thanks very much for doing that not many people do that um, and I was like oh my god Michael Demang's like well I wasn't like that but you know what I mean it was just like really nice that uh, him being, you know, this God in the assemblage world actually, you know, spoke to me, or well, sent me an email off his own back just to say thank you. I mean, you don't really see that much um, anymore. So that was really cool. And um, we just got chatting and, you know, his girlfriend's actually Australian. So... Um, so the opportunity came up where he said, you know, let's meet up when you're in Sydney. Um, so I'm going to be flying to Sydney. I'm also going to hang out with a, another really cool artist by the name of Mo God Beer, who, um, who's the, who does encaustic work, and it's, she's fantastic. So I'm going to interview her, actually. So uh, hopefully I'm going to interview quite a few artists in Australia while I'm there. So I'm going to interview uh, Michael Demang and Keith LeBleu. That'll probably be just a quick interview over a, over a coffee or something, but still. Um, I think it'll be still cool to see. So I'll interview um, Mo as well. And um, I'm going up to Brisbane. And um, I'm going up to Cairns as well. And there's a couple of artists up that way that I'd like to actually try and interview as well, if they'll let me. Um, but we'll, we'll see how we go there. Um, so yeah, what I'll do is, when this dries a little bit, I'll come back with a wet cloth and wipe it back so it's not completely obvious. So you don't see the strength in the line as, as much. Because I'm trying to work you know, with subtlety, uh, that's the thing that I've sort of really want to get into is 
being very subtle in my with my artworks um, but I'm looking forward to going home it's going to be nice not to really I'm sure I'll be itchy to do art you know after a, a few weeks but you know I really need a break I just need to chill out and um, hang out with my mates and just not think about stuff too much um, and recharge my creative batteries really because I, I, I'm pretty they're pretty drained at the moment and um, I'm not too inspired to do to, to do a lot of painting it's it's been a big year lots has ha lot of lots happened you know um, and I'm just at the point now where I just need to have that break for a bit and then come back fresh and revived and full of energy to go again. So I went into this uh, framing shop uh, yesterday where I normally buy my canvases from because I buy them already uh, pre-stretched um, because I, I just don't like to do it myself. I guess I'm just lazy and um, you know for ages I've wanted to have a, like a really big canvas maybe you know two or three meters um, and I've never ever seen that they've had canvas that large and then when I went in yesterday it was like, oh my god, they had canvas from floor to ceiling. That's how large it was. It was huge. And um, I just thought, ah, oh, yes. So when I come back next year, definitely going to start doing some um, seriously large abstract works. Okay, so um, I've pretty much painted all the red lines on there. Now, when you uh, let acrylics are dry, they obviously dry darker, so they're going to fade quite a bit, and it should fade back. So they're not so predominant at the moment, like they won't be so predominant then. Um, and if they are, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with a spray bottle with uh, some blue acrylic paint in it and just spray it so this sort of runs over the top a little bit, so it sort of blends them back into the work um, but I think this works almost getting to the stage now where it's I'm happy with it which is pretty great um, all right this disaster <laughs> I was playing around with it today and oh it's turning into the rainbow flag of I don't know what <laughs> so yeah tomorrow that's being attacked <laughs> again yeah sometimes you just got to give up and say all right you don't want to speak to me so you know i have to start again so <laughs> yay all right all right ubers later i generally try and work regularly because when uh, people talk about inspiration i think uh, what is called inspiration only comes really from regular work you didn't go to art school did you no thank god i would have been taught all those techniques that I don't want to know. I mean, I want to find my own technique, because if you're trying to do something, if you're trying to do something that's rather di uh, different and new, you can't use the old techniques which, um, which have already been used. You make your own technique. So how did you learn? I mean, how did you learn to make your own technique? By doing it? Trial and error. By, um, by just um, trying to do it. So. Guard a broken bottle top and a one man soul. They follow each other on the wind, you know. Cause they've got nowhere to go. That's why I want you to know. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change. Message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, you take a look at yourself and then make that change. Na na na.